But right now, let's talk about the wonderful Kentucky Police and Firefighter Summer Benefit happening. I am so happy to be sitting next to Alexis Jones from Fans vs. Faves, Survivor, and James Clement from Survivor China, and of course, the guy that brought them all here, Kelly Jones, who's the Benefit co-founder for the Police and Firefighters Benefit. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Great to have you here. So we're going to get to the benefit in just a second, because you were on before talking about it, and everybody should know about it, and come and benefit all of those great police and firefighters. But thanks for coming to Louisville, guys. Thank you. It's great to have you here. So um, what's life like after Survivor? That's the first question. Um, for me, I started an interactive online magazine for girls. Yeah, we got to talk. Uh, we got to talk about yeah. that. Talk about your about your wonderful event and 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 everything that you're doing online and going out and doing some speaking as well. Mm -hmm. too, right, Alexis? Yeah, talk a lot about of that. It. Um, it's been amazing. Survivor provides such a platform, mm -hmm. um, and for me, I was a motivational speaker going into it. So since then, um, I've gotten a lot more offers to come around and. Um, I'm actually going to Egypt for two weeks. I mean, that's like the highlight really? of the summer, yeah. Well, okay, from Egypt to Waverly uh, Hills last night, right? You, you two went and, uh, and did Waverly uh, Hills. You were up, and the ghost kept you up until yes. four in the morning, right? Yeah, it was terrifying, <laughs> absolutely terrifying. For me, not for this guy. He's well, so no. tough. Well, He's of course so he tough. is. You know, when you're a grave digger from Lafayette, Louisiana, uh, who is now going to do what? Oh, moving to the beach. Moving to yeah. the beach. You're hot. You, now you, you bought you bought a, a, a camper, yeah. did you? Doing the whole Mel Gibson thing. Moving to the beach like on Lethal Weapon, in my camper and hanging out for a little while in L.A. Not for long because I do like my uh, job. But how go check and see fun. what else is out there. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's that's what you got to do, right? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Hey, Kelly, talk a little bit about the event this weekend that everybody's in for, and we got some great stars here this morning. But more coming to the event this weekend, right? We do, yeah. It's our fifth year, our anniversary. We've got some great uh, lineup this year. About 25 folks from Survivor, The Amazing Race. We've got uh, UK football coach Rich Brooks. We've got Jeff Brown from U of L. Uh, back for the fifth year in a row is Ken Osmond, Eddie Haskell from Leave It to Beaver. Uh -huh. And he's bringing Lumpy Rutherford with him this year. Uh, so that's a neat thing for us. But, you know, we've been very fortunate over the years to have some great sponsors. The community's gotten behind us. We're basically sold out for the event. And, of course, the benefits close their charities, close their kids. And we're very fortunate to have a great list of guests this year. And Louisville Defender is helping you out, too. Is Absolutely. Right? Colin Celeste at the Louisville Defender has been so good to us over the years. And he's just a prince, and we appreciate what he does for us. Now, Alexis, you were a fan of Survivor before you ever even got on the show, and that's how you got on the show, right? Mm -hmm. It's actually kind of funny because I went down to the production mm -hmm. house and like basically banged on the door yeah. and was like, you want me on your show, you don't know it yet, but you do. <laughs> and, um, and then it turned out, I didn't know at the time that it was fans versus favorites. Yeah. So they were like, oh, this girl's crazy. Uh -huh. Like She is a legitimate fan. So I think it helped me get in this specific season. Oh, amazing. And James, how, how did you get involved in it? What was the impetus for you to send in a tape and get going? I just didn't get a chance to send in a tape. I knew a guy that was on the show beforehand. Oh, really? He was having a man conversation. I was explaining <laughs> to him how I would have done better than he would have. Yeah. And he kind of just drew me into it. A man I mean, conversation. Yes. I like I, how I'm you saying say that. Way. <laughs> <laughs> you know, especially in front man, of me. Yes. A man. So whatever. Yeah, I was talking with him and wound up, he got me on the show. I had like a week to get ready and prepare. Wow. Yeah. And something that you do again? Uh, yes. I've yeah. done it twice already. Yeah. So. Why not? It's mm -hmm. fun in the jungle, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. What What is the one thing that, you know, we watch the show and, and, we, and, and we see kind of, you know, obviously they tape hundreds and hundreds of hours and we get to see just a distillation of, of what happens. What would we, would we be surprised that we didn't see on, on the air? I always say that for, for me, it's always those tiny little details of like when we're just laying there mm -hmm. at night, you know, super late at night and like the cameras are on but you can't see them anymore. Right. And then like those beautiful conversations that you have. I mean, he always makes fun of me. Uh, they cry at the sunset. They all just sit there. Uh, like, girl, I'm like, ah. Yeah, we do. And it's it wonderful really to beautiful. hear that, darling. I'm glad you Watch do it. it. You know Watch what? It, you touched him. Yes, I have. Hey, yeah, right. we got in a huge argument over this, actually, that they did not air. Because it was like, why are you crying? I was like, you're ruining the moment right now. <laughs> we got so mad at What's going on? They're like, the sun. I'm like, what do you mean about the sun? Is it falling? What's going on? Uh, it's like, it's so beautiful. And I'm like, seriously? Yeah. I'm like, yes, darling. Yes. It yeah. is. We were mad. He was like, I can't Aww, believe y'all are getting mad at me. Up. 
Kelly, one more time. Who's, who's this benefiting? Why are these people here, and why is it helping so Two much? Two main things. Cozer Charities and Cozer Kids. We do a Christmas shopping trip for those kids every year, and then we let Cozer Charities decide uh, which kids are in most need, and it's been it's been great. We let them decide tomorrow night at 8 o'clock at the Golf House. And Alexis, before we leave, we got to hit we got to hit your website for I Am That Girl. Um, it's www.iamthatgirl.com. Very good. James, any, any, any website we want to send people to? <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy's bio because it, it, it tells about you know their favorite things, candy bars and cereals and things like that. His favorite smells are crawfish boils it's and true. barbecue. Yeah, I like eating. Yes, sir. Man of my own heart, <laughs> let me tell you. Maybe y'all can have a man conversation later. We will. Like Maybe that. we will. Mm -hmm. And we'll talk about the sunset <laughs> and the right. rain and puppies and rainbows. Alexis Jones, Kelly Jones, and James Clement. Thanks, guys, for coming by today. Thank you, and thank you for visiting us in Louisville. And don't let those ghosts get you. Mm. Talk about one, uh, one reality show to another. If you want to be America's Next Top Model, 